So I'd probably be a vegan if I wasn't a vegetarian, if I wasn't an omnivore. I don't really like to eat a lot of meat. I love my vegetables, but it's kind of difficult eating all of them. And I do like to eat meat. Every now and then I do like a nice juicy steak or a really big bacon cheeseburger. So a while back, Kelly inspired me to create something that combined all of these. I'm gonna show you how I make it. Safeway, because dangerous way isn't a thing. Why isn't that a thing? Onion, cabbage, jalapeno, green onion, lettuce, potato, I mean tomato, bell pepper, pepper jack, eggs, bacon, Thousand Island, this one's free, pickles, mustard. I was thinking gray poupon, but then again, I don't like poupon stuff. Ketchup, catsup, onion soup. Oh wait, that's for something else. My blood pressure, diced green chilies. A lesson from the canned vegetable aisle. Bottoms are always more expensive than hearts. This is the best packaging I have ever seen for chocolate brownie mix. Hamburger, french fries. Whoever's in charge of making peanuts be over there, I want toffee covered peanuts. Buns. I want my pie back. Making bacon. Okay, we're gonna start out with making the burgers. Time to chop some vegetables. Onions. Tomatoes. Green onions. Bell pepper. Nosy pepper. Cabbage. Okay, now we're gonna start on the meat. Depackage it. I like to rinse my meat to get any blood or excess bacteria stuff off of it. it it's weird. Sorry, plumbers guys that work on the sewer. Slimy. My big ball of meat. Diced green chilies. That's about perfect consistency. I could have chopped things up better if I had like a food processor or the slap chop. Always remember to wash any surface that uncooked meat has touched. Okay, time for fries. Don't worry, I washed my hands. Okay, time to pull out the lean, lean grilling machine. I don't have the tray, so I'm gonna use a paper plate. This plate will go for all the stuff that I put on the stuff, and stuff. First off, while we're waiting for that to warm up, do some tomato slices. As a rabbi would say, I'm just gonna nip the tip. So I'm gonna cut this way. And this way. Enough. Okay, now we're just gonna mix this up a little bit more. Make some patties. Make sure you rinse your lettuce real good. Looks like it's about done, so we're gonna have to spatula this off. I'm gonna take off this end piece right there. And I kind of
kind of pressed a little bit too much and it's falling apart. I usually like to use pepper jack for this, but I have way too much of this kind of cheese and the other kind and more kinds that I, I yeah. The cheese cutter don't work. This is mozzarella and this is cheddar. Potato buns. That'll heat up the bacon and everything again. It's steaming. Some uh, spicy mustard. Not everybody likes pickles, but I do. on my camera. What is it? It's like a little teeny tiny sliver of a bar at the bottom on the, the, the screen. And the battery is like nothing. Almost nothing. It hasn't gotten red with the X through it yet, so I'm good. But will I run out of battery or memory first? Oh, I forgot the mid. That's what I was forgetting. Okay. include cayenne pepper and red pepper. I forgot to put Italian seasoning in the meat. I usually put parsley flakes in the meat too. Then I'm completely out of Johnny seasoning so I can't put anything on the fries. Arr! Now what do you think? fit in my mouth, maybe. Let's see. Mmm. That's so good. You gotta try one of these. I don't have a name for this burger yet. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. The Yeti came up with Colossal Chaos. I kind of like it, but she thinks it sounds weird. I forgot avocado! This is just how I make my ultimate burger. How would you make yours? And what would you put on it? 
You can answer in the comments, or video response, or you can just take out a Sharpie and write directly on the screen. That's a joke. Don't actually do that. Very bad for your screen.